Another signal. must be the one sending the signal. too prepared. will help.
should be a good spot for jumping onto the tunnel.
This'll last. Away from home, far from the fight, and for what? A heap of brack. The killers. What are they doing here? We might have trouble. alone. Something here. That better not be one of ours. If I have to pack, heard something. thought.
Who's there? Wait, who went down? Got too much already. This was a cauldron once, but the wild got in, and now the enemy too.
must have been a cave-in. A big one. Always said, patience. Man dead. Quietly. Got a body over here! Search, I got him! 
she went that way. Might need this.
don't get too close like that. That's an old from the very shadow we show. They saw me. This is it. what they're so afraid of. That's it. More machines I can override. What have you done? Kill the savage! Cut her down! Something there.
I'll take this. Should have brought a cart.
almost out of here.
No space. Save this for later.
you're introduced. on this flower are so strange.
my family might still be alive. And you're going to stand here and do nothing? Tell me what happened to your family. Maybe I can help. By the sun, I fear they are all dead by now. I barely escaped alive. Machines. Vicious machines attacked my family's estate. Father sent me to get help. What kind of machines? Where did they come from? A Ravager. By the sun, how it cut down those guards, and a pack of Watchers came with it. The Sun King warned us that he could no longer protect Freeholds beyond the valley, but... Father never saw this coming. Tell me more about the estate. My father owns a dozen quarries, and he's put his spoils into the estate. Fine tapestries, custom woodwork, silver fixtures. But what about the people there? Of course. Their lives are all that matter. My father and sister, plus a dozen guards and servants. I hope they survived. I'll see what I can do about the estate. You will? Oh, thank you. Oh, please, be careful. Those machines are deadly. My husband was cheated by one of those Sunfirst opera merchants yesterday. Not for the first time. Here, good prices, fair Take prices. A look at these Don't forget to stock Can't up before you're smile on the road. The sunshine. Come Ugh, take a look. I'll give you a good price. For a better day tomorrow. Take a look at Fairest these prices ways. for machine parts under the mesa. No tithes to the sun court. Not like those greedy snarls upside. She's not interested in taxes. I know what she's not interested in. As I was saying. No better offer for snap ball lenses. I'd give my oath on it. By the sun, don't start spitting in your palm. Huntress, I apologize on behalf of my partner. Silent partner. Silent partner? If the sun would only grant my prayers. Never mind snap more lenses, Huntress. There's no market for those. A long leg lens, though, you'd be well rewarded for. So which... Uh, no market for a snap mall lens. It's good, strong stuff. You can hammer it into anything. Where do you think we are? Some trading post with sawdust on the floor? This is Meridian. We have culture. I know culture. Just the other day, I was watching the hunting trials. Oh, great sun, lend me the strength of midday. The sun's baked your head if you think we'll shift long leg lenses at a time like this. Uh, hello? I've told you as many times as the spire is tall, craft and artisanship is who we are. Craft doesn't win a war or keep the machines from your farms. What you need is good, old-fashioned, plain... Oh, yes. Old-fashioned, plain, hammered work. If ever something glittered, you'd throw it back. If Karja had built that elevator, they would have stopped at a good-looking shaft. All those years of delving, and you never found a sense of humor. Enough! Well? They're a blunt people, the Nora. Why do you two even work together if you can't agree on anything? <sighs> it's a symbolic gesture. No tithes to the Sun Court, like I said in the beginning, Renine. Just... just tell me which part you want. A long leg lens. I snap my lens. Fine. I can see that you're busy. Wait, wait. You drove her off. Snap my lens. What do you say? I drove her off? <laughs> That's rich. Listen, Huntress. Long leg lens. Hunters, scroungers, bring us your map.
I brought you both the parts. So, what do you say? I don't suppose I could buy just the one. You'd buy the wrong one. So give the hunter her shards for both. Of course, of course. Here you are. If this is the price I have to pay. The price you have to pay? The snap maw lens might just cover the loss we take on the other. It won't sell for a loss, charcoal burner. You'd pay handsomely for a long leg lens if you had an imagination. I have an imagination. When you rattle that piece of junk around, I think of your skull. From the beginning, this wouldn't be a scrap dealing operation, that we would have class. And I told you, a true metal seller knows to get like his hands dirty. To share a drink with hmm. As you wipe machine oil on my silks. Won't find better wares. I want you to think it's superstition. Red Maw has crushed all who hunted it. That's proof enough. for the wait, but all goods entering the city are subject to search. This is outrageous. We're loyal citizens. How long do we have to... What's going on here? Holland's in there, somewhere. And so's Erend, that other outlander I talked to the night before the proving. Aaron said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. Said she was captain of the Vanguard. The old ones? The I'll be broken them up. It's always the merchants who suffer. The city's locked down. Not a not not getting murder. through, Outlander. Halt! Stop right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Carja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Erend's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Erend. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha! Huh. I doubt that Erend, the new captain of the vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy! Hey, you're alive! I thought you were dead! Make way! Make way! All the way to Meridian, just to see me? Have you been drinking? Ah, not really. A little. So, you're alive. This, uh, we should celebrate. The drink's on me. We need to talk, alone. 
And you need to pull together. Over there. So you approve? Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. As you wish, sir. There. Alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? A lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was... attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. Some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Olin. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I need to find Olin. I need to know what he knows. But he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Olin is working with them. But, I mean, this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents, places he returns to? A house, here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess, as long as I'm there to witness the search. I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. Now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around in them. Then stop feeling sorry for yourself and live up to her example. So much for a shoulder to cry on. Everybody loses people they care about. Tears don't change that. Don't worry. Any tears I had just froze up. I need to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Uh, come on. So many people here all talking at once. How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. Is she a new? Apparently they're letting anyone into the city these days. These are good necessities. How long will a bod hide in his palace? Oh, no. After year, why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Erend, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister, murdered, and her death, unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself. Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass. What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now. Okay, how are we gonna get in? <coughs> oh, that was subtle. Here we are, trying not to break anything. Other than the door. All of this. Phase to have connections in the Sun King's court. Let's see what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? Question is, how to get through it? Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azeron making. 
like nothing gets through. We'll see about that. Call it a day, girl. Wasting Just what I need. Looks big and heavy. Could do it. Let's give it a little push. I did say not to break anything, didn't I? to obey or they'd kill his family. Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. The glyphs show places he visited. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus. It's the same? The device is the same, but somehow Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances and see through each other's focuses too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you? Through Olin? Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that. But the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Red Ridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Red Ridge Pass, you said? I'll see what I can do.
smells like nothing I've ever smelled before. Is that some kind of spice? The fear in the city is gone. That Sun King of Odds doing making up for us. You're looking for artifacts. Yes, but I'm no profiteer. Sun King Avad has named me an envoy to the Banuk. I work on their behalf, looking for sacred relics to return to their homeland, Ben Ur. I'm especially interested in wooden figures that are sometimes found near Banuk rock paintings. If you have any, I have valuables to trade for them. You said the king named you an envoy to the Banuk? Yes. I've been to Ben Ur many times, and the Wirek chiefs trust me. I help them maintain diplomatic ties with Avad. Some say they're a mysterious people, but their ways make a lot of sense to me. All you have to do is be the best. Doesn't matter if you're born high or low, man or woman. They respect skill, not some fool notion of heritage. I see the appeal. I wish more Karja did. Anything they don't understand, they call backward or savage. Tell me more about these Banuk figures. Simple wood sculptures made by Arnak, a legendary hunter who was exiled from Ban Ur for killing his chief. He left the figures near painted stones in places that reminded him of his homeland. Later, his tribe declared him innocent. Now they see him as a kind of wandering hero and want those figures back. I do what I can to help him get them, including trade for them, if you have any. You ready? Let's trade then. Come on back if you find any Banuk goods. Found any Banuk relics in the wilds, Outlander? Hi there, Outlander. Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your... Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant uh, a well-molded woman such as you. Uh, <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuke camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh, I hired men to investigate. To, just investigate, that's all. Uh, those Banuk are canny, too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I, I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> the last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. <laughs> You're a smart one. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, Think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it. Girl, I'm not made of straw. What can you tell me about the Banuk? The Banuk women. Snow witches all. Cold eyes, cold... 
<clears throat> they choose to live up there in Ban Ur, in the ice. Trying to have a conversation, it's like chipping them out of the stuff. They prefer machines for company. That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. Are you some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Mm, more of an explorer. But you send other people to do your exploring. <clears throat> All right, more of an opportunist. Uh, girl, uh, Nora girl, <clears throat> Huntress. We live in a world of opportunities, risky opportunities. But why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? All right, I'm more of a gambler. If I did look into your rumor. You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. <laughs> It's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. If it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well, you can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. You need to win three half-sons at our hunting grounds to gain admittance to the lodge. You mean these? Very well then. Congratulations and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No, you're only a fledgling. Junior members are called thrushes. To join and become a thrush, you need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor you. So I need to find a hawk? Yes, but a hawk can only sponsor one hunter at a time, and I'm afraid most of them already have one. I've overcome worse odds. Where do I start? Upstairs. Present yourself to the sun hawk Assis, our leader, who should introduce you to a hawk. I hope it's worth it. What do you mean? You'll see. edict really is taking effect. Never thought I'd see a Nora here and a woman at that. So, you have marks for me? What do you mean? From the hunting grounds. Oh, right. You're new here. What edict? King Avad insisted that the Hunter's Lodge had to welcome everyone. Man, woman, outlander, regardless of tribe. Ursa, captain of the vanguard, came in and delivered that news personally. You should have been there. It was glorious. But I figured they would sweep it under the rug and say no woman or outlander qualified. Yet here you are. Are you a member? Me? No. Karja don't exactly encourage their daughters to run around hunting machines. But all the changes in Meridian have been good to me. I don't think the Asaram know how to sell to us Karja. The trader I worked for last couldn't sell flowers to a bee. He was too plain hammered, as they like to say. This is a much better job. I figure I'll be able to open my own shop soon enough. What do you want with my marks? You hunters and your badges. I'm not going to take them. I'm going to give you a weapon that sets you apart. Yeah, I thought that'd get your attention. If you earn marks in all three trials at each of the five hunting grounds, Come to me. I can give you up to three weapons, one for 15 half-suns, one for 15 full-suns, and one you'll love for all blazing suns. 
What do I do with these marks? If you get the same mark from all the hunting ground trials, I can give you a Hunter's Lodge weapon. Show me what marks you've earned, and we'll see if you qualify for one of these special weapons I have for you. I'm a little short on marks. No problem. Once you have marks from all 15 trials, you'll be able to get the next Hunter's Lodge weapon from me. Charging in here without a thought, right after one of our own was killed. Go away. What have we here? A Nora Fledge. I bet I've been hunting longer than you have. Are you a fledgling? Not for long. I have a hawk who's about to sponsor me, so you're out of luck. I'd asked Alana to sponsor me, but her sponsor just died. I can't imagine what she must be going through. I've been trophy hunting for years. Still haven't gotten a sponsor. Excuse us. Ah, the machine rider graces us with her presence. You're Anora, are you not? A fighter from the savage lands. The sacred land, but yes. I fought for everything I got. Huh. Tell me, do the Nora often wander into other people's homes and do whatever they like? Of course not. But that is what you're doing right now. Stinking up our lodge, pestering your betters. You're hardly my better. Legan said I had to meet you to become a member. That would be true if there were any chance of you becoming a member. But you're a savage. And no savage will rise in the ranks of the Hunter's Lodge while I am the Sun Hawk. Now be gone. No. I was led to believe there are rules here. If they count for nothing, then even your position is meaningless. So quit blustering and tell me. Is there a hawk who is free to sponsor me? Very well. Talana is free. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fitting? Trash sponsoring trash. Now get out of my sight. Talana? SC said you were a hawk without a fledgling to sponsor. Or are you trying to drive me off too? It's okay, I've dealt with worse. Mm. I'll bet you have. 
But you're wrong. It's not okay. Especially not today. What happened today? One of our own just died fighting Red Maw. You'll never face a more dangerous Thunderjaw. Cuts through trees, rocks, people. I'm sorry to hear that. It's part of the hunt. Is there any actual hunting in this lodge? So far, it's been all talk. <laughs> yes, of course. You fight a machine, then bring its trophy to a seize the Sunhawk, then no one can deny you brought it down. A cease. What's his story? He's the Sunhawk of the Lodge. The highest ranking asshole. <laughs> Sorry, member. He's taken down Ravagers, Stalkers, Behemoths. So? I've taken down a lot of machines. As have I. Even brought down two Stormbirds. But he's a hawk who brought in the trophies first. And that's how it works. Whichever hawk defeats the greatest machine first becomes a Sunhawk. How does one become a hawk? When a hawk dies, his thrush is promoted in his place, no matter how anyone feels about it. Who is this Legan, the man at the door? Legan? He's a hawk. He had an impressive run in his day, but he doesn't fight anymore. He supports the lodge in other ways. Unlike the other hawks, who hoard all the best kills and drink the bar dry. I'm ready to hunt, so tell me. What do I have to do? You want them to regret looking down on you? Then speak to them in their language. Kill three sawtooths, two ravagers, and a stalker. Deliver their trophies directly to Assis. That should shut them all up. So if I do that, you'll sponsor me? I'll consider it. Just to make Assis boil. Nora. I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close, like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sunring? Uh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well. I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander, then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices, not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. And while Meridian holds his breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. What kind of obstacles? The first pilgrim is an Asaram, who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. The shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb, Call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Flint hawks perch there, drawn to the spires shining. So clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No, but it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. 
I didn't think your priesthood would ask outsiders for help. If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is done, I am no sun priest. To wear a red robe was an aspiration. I aspired. Now our hoods make us blind. We whisper reconciliation, but forget how the old king's priests sang the words and blessed the killing. The killing? You mean the Red Raids? Yes. And the sacrifices that came after. Why did the priests go along with all that bloodshed? Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is tradition than what is right. Huh. Maybe the Karja and Nora aren't so different. You're disappointed with the Sun Priests, but you still wanted to be one? I spent my whole life looking up to the temple. My brother's voice echoing in his arches. Even he couldn't turn me away, and how he tried. In the end, he said, when we were loved, our robes were dyed in cinnabar. Now they are stained in blood. How so? Our robes are handed down to us. Most of the old priests fled rather than be seen in the glare of a new sun. And so we are left to wear their sins. For me, at least, they hang heavy. Where is your brother now? He waits for me on the trail of the sun, I hope. He spoke out against the sacrifices. For a priest to question the Sun King's will, his punishment was worst of all. You lost someone you loved, too. I'm sorry. No, not lost. When I took on these robes, I found his memory. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories is to honor us all. What did you want to discuss? You're an outlander, which is good, but a Nora, which might be bad. Do you fear the ruins of the Old Ones like many in your tribe? No, although some can be dangerous. Then you may have come across what I seek. In your travels, have you found strange vessels emblazoned with symbols of the Old Ones? They consist of a hollow cylinder with a crescent handle affixed at both ends. If you bring me these vessels in sets of four, I will gladly trade what I have for them. So you're interested in the old ones? More than interested. I study every ancient artifact I can get my hands on. But years of study have made me too comfortable at my desk. I can't even bear the sun if the truth be known. I don't know how I'll manage to take a partner. My family presses me for an heir. Uh, don't look at me. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm not looking. In fact, my father already has someone he wants me to wed. She doesn't interest me. I wish I had a brother to carry this burden. I would rather be left to my precious little vessels. What sort of ritual were these vessels made for? 
I'm convinced they were used in conjunction with each other in sets. Some people believe they were used for tea ceremonies. Others think they held sacred essences and oils for worship. But I believe they were used for the solemn custom of shaving one's beard. One for water, one for lotion, and so on. Each fluid in its special vessel, majestically applied to the face at each stage of the rite. It must have been breathtaking. But which vessel was used for which? I have to know. I have to continue my research. Are you sure people didn't just drink out of them? Drink? Out of such finely crafted earthenware? Don't be ridiculous. Yes, yes. Trade quickly. I have work to do. I will leave you to the hunt. Be sure to delve into the ruins. Perhaps your travels have taken you through ancient ruins? Let us speak of it. You there, can you help? You with the second sight, I need your help. You're the one the Vanguard has been crowing about. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape, and listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. You saw the thief make a run for it? My back was to the wall, you see? Wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window. He ran past me, dressed in gray, clutching the sword. That's all I saw. By the sun, my heart nearly seized up. Broke the lattice on the way out. And some blood. Look, drops of blood leading away. Ah. You're everything I'm not. More blood. Strong, brave, I'm still active. On the trail. Come. Back to the sun. blood. The thief got cut. Trail ends here. But someone must have seen the thief. Hi.
Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. A quiet moment brings sun to a dark day. Long night last night. If the thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Captain Forward. No sign of the thief. Someone must have seen him go by. Did you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah. Almost crashed into me, too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way he'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword, though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief must have ditched the sword. But where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop-off. legs. Terrible. It looks like the thief got away, but without the sword. I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere. Like here, for instance? What? No. I had nothing to do with this. I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. Uh, hold on. There's more to this. You've got a reputation for shining light in the darkness, so... I know you'll listen. You're right. The sword was passed to me, and I passed it on to someone else. It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? I can prove it. Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. But all right, I'll check out the water mill. Okay, guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on.
drink. But I guess that's how I always feel. I was told to expect you, Aloy. I suppose you want answers. Well, it's not complicated. We collect valuable objects from people who don't need them, sell them for shards, and use the money to help the needy at Sunfall. You mean you steal? If you want to call it that. From hogs who've had their turn at the trough for generations. Ravon didn't seem like a hog to me. He stinks just like the rest of them, of wealth and contentment, while people beneath him suffer. Who exactly gets the shards at Sunfall? Not the bastards in the fortress. We use the shards to make sure the poor in Shadowside get to eat or bandage their wounds. They only went west because they had to. Trust me, I know. My wife was chained up with a bunch of servants and herded with them. They starved to death, still bound together. I'm... I'm sorry. So am I. Where's the sword now? Safe. I haven't sold it yet. What do you expect me to do now? Walk away? I was hoping you'd help us. They say you can track like a stalker. Well, my partner, Nassan, disappeared near the branded shore. He was bound for Sunfall, along with an entire shipment of food. If you found that, you'd be helping a lot of people. I'll consider it. But only if you return the sword to Ravon. I knew you were gonna say that. Fine, I'll return the damn blade. Nassan was supposed to meet his contact at an old campfire on the fork near the branded shore. Start looking there. But be careful. Lots of machines out there, and lots of Shadow Karja. And not the needy kind, but they're tormentors. Don't ask me where to go if you're lost. I'm a guard, not the town crier. That one. The world beyond the sacred land. I need to find Olin and learn everything he knows. Who the killers were, how they saw me through his focus. Who the woman is, the one who looks like me.
Olin's trail leads to Meridian. When I catch him, he will talk. And he will pay for all the lives he's ruined. By the sun, are you Nora? I've never seen one at a hunting grounds before, or at the Hunter's Lodge. How interesting. What do you do here? This is a place to test yourself against a herd of machines in the stamina trials. Think you can handle it? I know I can. Excellent. I like your spirit. You're awfully friendly. Well, you know, it gets lonely in the wilds after a few weeks. Terribly lonely, in fact. What about your friend over there? Oh, he doesn't count. Barely ever opens his mouth, and when he does, nothing interesting comes out. Who are you? Why are you here? Well, I'm a hunter, of course. And a member of the Hunter's Lodge. But I don't mind being out here. At least no one complains about my clothes or my manners. Or my personality? Don't let him in. He'll drive people off with his incessant chattering. Or he stinks of fish again. That sort of thing. I don't stink of fish, do I? No, it's uh, more like wet fur. Well, that's something. What are the trials? The Hunter's Lodge makes sure hunting grounds around the world offer hunters a place to train. The trials here focus on the most important part of hunting, keeping your stamina up. Hunting isn't a sprint, it's a gauntlet. So all you offer is training? And a herd of machines. Plus, I'm allowed to award marks. Half sun, full sun, and blazing sun, if you do well. What is the Hunter's Lodge? A place in Meridian where hunters gather, socialize, and brag a lot. Me, I just love hunting machines. You've already won three half-sons, so you're eligible to enter the lodge yourself. Which one will you try? I'll explain whichever one you pick. The remains of Watchers rest on three rises. Loot all of them before time runs out, and you pass. It sounds simple, but watch out for all the other machines down there. I would have chosen the same one. Slide down a rope and I'll start timing.
blazing sun on your first attempt? Congratulations! In this trial, you must tie down a trampler and shoot off the component under its belly. Good. Now slide down a rope to get started. Go, go, go! Attempt? Congratulations! This trial's about tying down glint hawks. But you need any type of rope caster and some ammo for that. This trial's about tying down glint hawks. But you need any type of rope caster and some ammo for that. I have to get going. You know where... myself in these trials. I should do it fair and square. You've been here before, right? What trial will you run today? You'll need to be able to perform critical hits before taking on this challenge. You'll need to be able to perform critical hits before taking on this challenge. Another time. The trials are... Welcome, welcome. Now's your chance to show you can snare glint hawks. Lure them close to you, then tie them down in time to pass this test. Are you ready? Good. I'll start timing once you choose a rope.
You didn't pass. Go ahead and try again. I should leave for now. Till the next time. for another run. Now's your chance. I'll start time.
that little performance got you a whole sun. Now's your chance to show. Good choice. Perfection. Only this blazing sun will suffice. Another time. The trials are ready when you are.
more shadow these days. She wants just one more sign of that. The new lands are harsher than these. Hunting here is really awesome. How's your road treating you, Aloy? Full of surprises, Jira. How about you? When the Karja Fort opened, I got word that my husband had come looking for me. But only the word made it to the fort. He didn't. You have a husband? Kendrick. Beat him in an arm wrestling match. I left him behind when I left the claim. Some metal sellers passed him at the bridge near the glare break. Seeing as you drift on the wind, little spark. If I'm out that way, I'll look for him. But do you want him to find you, Jira? Ever have those mornings when you wake up without all the answers? Still, I'll be heading up to the fort to resupply. Luck on your travels. You can stay away. I have no quarrel with the Nora. And I have no quarrel with you. What is this place? These are hunting grounds, and I'm the keeper. I offer the element trials for those who want to join the Hunter's Lodge. Now you know, so you can be on your way. Wait, what if I want to have a go at one of these trials? <sighs> then I have to give them to you. You're not very friendly, are you? Oh, and the Nora are? Don't you usually kill trespassers and outlanders? <laughs> Is that what you're afraid of? Look, I didn't choose this assignment. They told me it was an honor, then stuck me right near your sacred lands. So I'm keeping to what I know, herds and trials, and hoping I won't get murdered by Nora, angry about the Red Raids. Just to be clear, I have no plans to murder you, all right? Fine, but I'm watching you. What's the Hunter's Lodge? What it sounds like. A place where hunters get together, share war stories, and hunt dangerous machines. Sounds easy enough. Easy? What do you know, girl? I know that for someone who doesn't want to fight Anora, you're treading awfully close. Fine. You already won the three half-sons you need to enter the Lodge in Meridian. Go see for yourself how easy it is to get along there. What are the trials? These trials test a hunter's skill with different ammunition types when taking down machines. If you can't master mine in time, maybe you should try one of the easier hunting grounds out in the world. How many hunting grounds are there? Five in total. I'm sure one of the others would welcome you. Hurry up and choose your trial so I can explain it to you. For this trial, shoot the containers on Strider's backs with fire arrows. If you hit them right, you'll get quite a blast. If that's what you want. Now pick a rope so I can time you.
you want a blazing sun on your first try. That's admirable. If you can freeze enough machines and take them down, I'll consider it a pass. Good luck with that. Slide down a rope and we can get started. Get out of this. You want a blazing sun on your first try. That's admirable. 